A P P three years old lady has undergoes a bilateral breast augmentation. So this point is important. That means there is a foreign body in the breast for many years previously. Implants are tense and uncomfortable and are removed. During their removal, surgeon encounter a dense membrane around the implant. It has coarse granular appearance and tissue sent for histopathology, and it demonstrates there is fibrosis and presence of the calcification what is the underlying process is responsible here the options options are hyperplasia dysplasia metastatic calcification dystrophic calcification and necrosis so what was the process the process that in the breast there is a implant augmented it just like that or that i think this is an augmentation that means a foreign body which is inserted and after many years it is removed due to uncomfortable condition and what happens there is a dense membrane around this augmentation and in the histopathological examination there is calcification also present there in outside there is the calcification develop so what is this type of the calcification or what is the process so first of all let's see the dystrophic calcification and metastatic calcification what is the deposition of calcium in the tissue that have undergone degeneration damaged tissue or disease tissue so the calcification it is usually present in case of dystrophic calcification that is when there is undergone degeneration damaged tissue or disease tissue in spite of presence of the normal serum calcium so in case of dystrophic calcification there is normal serum calcification and remember d for d d for d that means the dead tissue so dystrophic calcification it occurs in dead tissue that means d for d and in this condition the serum calcium is very normal deposition of calcium deposits in tissue that is otherwise normal in presence of increased serum calcium level in case of metastatic disease on the other hand the increased serum calcium level it occurs in case of the metastatic calcification breast implant implant is it living or it is it dead breast implant this implant is living body or it is dead it is dead so as it is dead so what occurs in this process dystopic calcification develop and it is surrounded by the pseudo capsule the breast implant it is surrounded by the pseudo capsule and there is deposition of the dystopic uh, calcification and uh, known as the dystopic calcification this is the difference between the dystopic calcification and the uh, metastatic calcification the dystrophic dystrophic means dead tissue so this is the first point that the dystrophic calcification that means it is the dead tissue serum calcium usually normal and in case of metastatic serum calcium increase calcium metabolism normal and in case of the metastatic calcification the calcium metabolism is increase or decrease and what are the examples the examples are dead tissue what are the dead tissue the abscess wall it is dead tissue the foreign body it is dead tissue so when there is dead tissue there is dystrophic calcification and where is living tissue there is metastatic calcification here we can see the skin the skin is living so in this condition there is metastatic calcification so here what is our answer as it is the breast implant and there is the calcification that means the implant it is a dead material and their calcification so it is the dystrophic calcification and metastatic calcification it occurs in the living body on the other hand the dysplasia and hyperplasia they are different the hyperplasia what occurs their cell number increases and what is the dysplasia their cell shape abnormality develop and necrosis is slightly different necrosis is the macroscopic date of the cell or tissue